when cops lie. Don't believe it happens? Watch this officer try to charge a man with animal cruelty for no reason whatsoever. The Illusion of Freedom Meet Officer Haley Holbert of Crossroads, Texas. Officer Holbert likes to take innocent people down by manufacturing crimes. This loving pet owner cooled the cabin down to a comfortable temperature for his furry companion before oh, spending baby. 16 minutes You're inside okay, the honey. store getting, among other things, a squeaky toy. Kona, his American Staffordshire dog, loves squeaky toys. Someone unscrupulously called in an animal in distress. They probably meant well, but they were mistaking the very dangerous scenario where a dog is in a car with the windows rolled up on a hot sunny day with a dog relaxing oh, in the cool air his master caringly okay? left oh, for him on a hot night. Officer Holbert reveals later in the video that she used to be a veterinary technician. As a veterinary technician, she would have certainly taken note of the fact she stirred the animal from a curled-up position. The position a dog takes when they are trying to retain body heat and the more telling fact that the dog was not Hi, panting. Baby. In fact, the okay? dog didn't Hi, even open his mouth at all. A veterinary technician would know that dogs do not have sweat glands, and the only way they can dissipate heat is through panting. Between the dog being curled up in the seat with his master's scent, and the fact the dog didn't open his mouth once in the 20 seconds she had to assess the situation, it should have been obvious the dog oh, was in no way displaying any okay? heat-related oh, signs of distress. In fact, the dog displayed no signs of any kind of distress whatsoever. So how do you explain this? You okay, baby? Is, is this your car? Yeah. Okay. I was just close to breaking the window out. There's, it's not that hot. It's 95 degrees. It means it's over 100 inside the vehicle. I've been in there. The windows have to be cracked. There's, there's got to be something. I was trying to keep the air conditioning in for him because I was just, I literally. Okay. Go to open that door for the, <laughs> and crack the windows open for the dog and then use your driver's license, please. She states she was about to break the window for a dog displaying no signs of distress whatsoever. Okay. Hi. Okay. Hi. You can feel it's not. It's 95 degrees. If it inside, it means the AC. And trust me, I love my dog. The, the, the right car, the car isn't everywhere. running. I it's, take him with me everywhere. Okay. I just need to see the driver's license. I don't have. Listen as the man asks what he did wrong, and the officer says he committed a criminal act of animal neglect and abuse. Right after he offers the officer a chance to feel the cooler temperature inside the vehicle. You know your driver's license number? Uh, what did I do wrong? This is a criminal <laughs> offense, okay? What is criminal offense? For animal neglect and abuse, yes. No. Really? This is animal neglect and abuse? What is the squeaky oh, toy considered? Okay? A dangerous oh, weapon? If you think this is bad, wait until you hear the rant she is about to go on. A lot of people died for us to have these freedoms and not, you know, for the police to just not walk up on you and just start demanding you and your I, I walked up on you because there was a criminal act that appears to be committed, okay? <laughs> Uh, there is a dog in the car, yeah, 95 degrees. Is it sunny outside? It's 95. Is it it doesn't sunny? have to be. 
Is it doesn't it sunny? have to be. You know how many dead dogs I pulled out of the yeah. car? Yeah. Was it okay. sunny when you did you know it? What? How many 90, dead dogs have you pulled 90, out at night? 90, oh, plenty. Really? Plenty. Really? How many? Yes. Tell and me. prior Tell to me. law no, enforcement, how many? I, I was a vet how many? technician. I worked how many? in the ERs how many did you and had to try to. Tell because me. people like you think that, that it's okay people like to me? keep dogs in the car people when the sun is down. Because you think just because. When you cool it down to freezing, right before, I mean, it was really. Now remember this is the dog's condition when she arrived. Hi, baby. You okay? Hi, honey. Hi, boobies. Really cold in there before I got out. I, I do don't that know this. I'm here to do my job to I investigate, know. and you're and hindering you're that. How are you gonna? You, what you're trying I to do? I need the identification, is, and right now the dog is having to sit in the car even further. Yeah, because you really you don't care not, about the animal, do you? You will not identify you really yourself. Don't care about I the am animal, here do to do my job. You're here to get my ID. That's all you want. I need your identification to complete it's this like, process. It's like cracked, you guys. It's required. No, it isn't. Would you freaking read 3802? Don't shine the light in my eyes, so I need you to lower it. Is it lowered enough? No, I need you to lower it so it's not shining in my eyes. Is it lowered Just enough like now? I would not turn print. The man then pulls up the statute and places it in front of her to read, and she refuses to read it. Would you read it? It's right there. No. It's right there. You're not even going to read it. No, I am not. Do you realize I'm going to stand bad this, here with you. Do you realize how bad this is going to look in court? That's fine. But you refuse to read the statute. I am on a call. I'm yeah. not burying my face in a computer. To find the law? You don't care? You, you I, think I don't you know have the law. to. You don't have to? You don't have to know the law. I already know it. To, I, I already know it. You, you do not know this. Under the failure to identify statute, Section 38.02 of the Texas Penal Code, a person commits an offense if he intentionally refuses to give his name, residence address, or date of birth to a peace officer that has lawfully arrested the person and requested the information. The vehicle owner was not lawfully arrested and under no obligation to provide his identification to the officer. And what about the animal neglect and abuse statute? Under section 42.092 of the Texas Penal Code, a person commits cruelty to non-livestock animals if he 1. tortures an animal or in a cruel manner kills or causes serious bodily injury to an animal, 2. without the owner's effective consent, kills, administers poison to, or causes serious bodily injury to the animal. 3. Fails unreasonably to provide unnecessary food, water, shelter, or care for an animal in the person's custody. 4. Abandons, unreasonably, an animal in the person's custody. 5. Transports or confines the animal in a cruel manner. 6. Without the owner's consent causes bodily injury to the animal, 7. Causes one animal to fight with another animal, if either animal is not a dog, 8. Uses a live animal as a lure in dog race training or in dog coursing on a racetrack or, 9. Seriously overworks the animal. Not only did the animal owner chill the cabin of the vehicle in a move conveying his care for the animal, but the man did not in any way violate the cruelty to non-livestock animals statute. Officer Holbert is a tyrant. She uses her badge to harass hard-working citizens with threats of seriously damaging arrests for criminal offenses they did not commit, then refuses to read the law that proves the man is not required to identify himself unless he has been lawfully arrested. This person is authorized to take a life in the line of duty. No one in Crossroads, Texas is safe until she is removed from her position. P.
People like Officer Holbert contribute in large part to the land of the free becoming the land of the incarcerated. This is not acceptable. Our voices will be heard. Let freedom ring.